celebrating NJFA's 20th anniversary, there is much to be covered. NJFA's staff and board members have had occasion to discuss NJFA's work on various programs over the years. What we are left with is the collective story of NJFA in their own words. In 1998, Grace Egan worked alongside the founding trustees to create NJFA. She then grew the organization into the leading authority on aging issues that it is today. We might not be here to celebrate 20 years of NJFA's influence on public awareness, state policy, and aging services had it not been for her dedication and drive. The foundation really started in 1998, and it was started by uh, four area agency on aging directors or county office on aging directors. And they um, really wanted to focus on some of the things that they weren't able to do within their um, current positions, which was to look at new funding streams for uh, services that really would address seniors that were had a change since 1965. They wanted to look at policy issues, and they really wanted to create a public awareness piece so that people really understand what aging is in New Jersey and what uh, challenges that seniors were having. None of our work is really done in isolation. Mm -hmm. We work with all the county offices on aging. Mm -hmm. We have stakeholder groups, people that work in home health, because it's that input that really makes the research more meaningful. Mm -hmm. And so there's not an ivory tower issue. It really is from the grassroots up. The foundation established itself and incorporated in 1998. Um, to look at ways in which they could, as a nonprofit foundation, raise funds and then provide funds to grant funds to the different nonprofit agencies in New Jersey uh, to provide services that were not able to be provided because the restrictions with federal and state funding, as we all know, come, they come with a whole bunch of, you know, yeses and no. So we did that with, with the thought of moving forward to provide more services that were needed. Early on, NJFA recognized the importance of professional education to ensure a workforce capable of caring for the various needs of a changing aging population. Bringing professionals from the entire aging spectrum together at NJFA's annual conferences promotes a true exchange of ideas and innovations. The skills transfer that the foundation supports through its annual conferences is vital to ensuring that the people who need the services get them from people who are qualified and knowledgeable about how to help these, the, these seniors. We also take a broad approach to our mission and look at the systemic causes and solutions to the challenges facing New Jersey seniors. With this in mind, we have brought tough issues to light that require attention. Examples include the importance of retaining and retraining older workers, supporting family caregivers, and making the road safer for all by assessing and enhancing older driver skills and improving road design. Well, I think we really have raised awareness of aging issues uh, by, um, by geometric proportion. I mean, we're not a membership organization. We don't sell things. We don't sell discounted auto insurance or uh, vacations, etc. We're really geared towards raising public awareness and public involvement mm -hmm. in the issues that face aging people, and we're all aging. There is no other similar foundation in, uh, in any other state of the United States. From its origin, NJFA also recognized the importance of gathering stakeholders to advocate for policy changes that benefited older adults. Much of the resulting work brought attention to issues that affect older adults. Topics range from caregiving, mature workers, medical transportation, safe mobility, and elder economics, which still impacts much of NJFA's advocacy today. These issues also appear in the pages of Renaissance Magazine which expanded from a print magazine reaching select counties to an online publication available to millions of New Jersey seniors. Another key uh, area, I think, of the foundation has been to really promote aging issues, and you do that with your Renaissance magazine and Aging Insights. Correct. What's been the reaction of the readership on that? Um, definitely, they're more informed. Um, they look forward to 
the Renaissance magazine. Before we had Aging Insights, we had Renaissance, right. which is our um, publication that the foundation puts out. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it is, again, another tool for, for those same kind of purposes. Um, what can you tell us about uh, your opinion of Renaissance and your? Well, it's um, very helpful and uh, it's um, very appealing. I get people who give me feedback about it mm -hmm. uh, spontaneously. Mm -hmm. I read this or I saw this or mm -hmm. I'm going to follow this website mm -hmm. or um, I'm going to try this recipe or mm -hmm. I'm going to do something. Mm -hmm. um, so they're excited about it. Um, I've shared it with um, my physical therapist. <laughs> I was going to say, I know recently you told me you shared right. it at a medical office and, right. and they were like, our, all of our patients should right. see this, right? And then also with, um, you know, some of them are my friends mm -hmm. and they uh, are always referring to them. Mm -hmm. So it's good. As we celebrate what NJFA has accomplished over the past 20 years, we cannot do so without acknowledging the influence of those who are no longer with us. Carl F. West was a founding trustee of NJFA and a leader in the field of aging. His passion and service leave a lasting legacy. The New Jersey Foundation for Aging is seriously concerned about providing for the independence, the well-being, and maximizing the options of older persons. It is extremely important for the elderly citizens of the state to be able to function within the community with a maximum amount of independence and a maximum amount of support. Rick Martinez was an influential board member. His thoughtful insights were always appreciated. When Rick spoke, people listened. But one of the things that attracted me personally to the to join the foundation's board of trustees was the fact that the focus was local it was focused on community efforts um, um, by local leaders who decided to address issues themselves the foundation is uniquely positioned as rosemary mentioned to support a network called area agencies on aging which are really the workhorse if you will for caregiving in this country and even though they're not as well known, these are the people that, uh, or these are the organizations that people call when they're dealing with caregiving issues or the kinds of issues in the home where they may need local uh, community support from neighbors and friends and local professionals. Rainey Sklaw served as the director of the Essex County Office on Aging, providing her with the ability to remind fellow board members of the basic needs of New Jersey's seniors. Rini frequently assisted with NJFA's conference and served on the Grants Committee, again providing insight into the needs of older adults when deciding on what programs would be funded. Understanding that fundraising was a big part of NJFA's ability to continue to do its work, Rini also assisted in securing funding for NJFA through the Fannie and Morris Sklaw Foundation. She provided years of dedicated service on behalf of New Jersey's older adults in both of these roles. Her broad knowledge of aging services made her an invaluable resource to NJFA's board. Well, you know, the founding trustees, I think, had a vision, and I think we've maintained uh, that vision, and I think we've uh, stuck to the original uh, principles. Mm -hmm. And I think along the way, we've gathered other trustees that have embraced the issue, and I think that really has enhanced the mission overall. Part of our PR work is really not only talking about what services are out there, but connecting people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the overall mission of the foundation is to empower people to live in their communities with independence and dignity. And I think all of these pieces are connected to that. You know, the idea of that connectivity piece is important. Mm -hmm. I think our goal is really to make communities friendly for all ages, because mm -hmm. if it's friendly for a senior, it's friendly for everyone. And I think that that's where we will sort of see us advancing our work, mm -hmm. because I think that's the, the important piece. It's not just seniors, mm -hmm. it's everyone in the community having that connectivity and being able to be engaged, being able to have the mobility to get out, being able to get healthy food, and a variety of other things. So it's, it's a very big picture. It is a very big picture. NJFA has much to be proud of over the last 20 years. But with a growing and changing older adult population, our work is far from done. Looking ahead, NJFA is excited to dive into the future of aging and continue to work to ensure that everyone in New Jersey can age well.